Hi, I'm Carissa Scholten, and I'll be your child's art teacher this semester. A bit about myself, I have my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Art Education from the University of Illinois, as well as my Master's Degree in Instructional Technology from Northern Illinois University. I've been teaching at St. Charles North since 2007, focusing primarily on digital art, photography, and AP Studio Art. Now let's take a look at some of the course expectations and some sample student artwork. Welcome to Back to School Night for AP Studio Art. The course this year is a combination of photography and digital art students. Expectations for the course. Um, students will be accessing assignments and submitting their work through Google Classroom. Students are also accessing Photoshop and Illustrator by logging into our Citrix servers, using the programs through a remote connection with their Chromebooks or their own personal computer. And I have directions on how to do that on our course Google Classroom under the Resources topic under classwork um, and students so far have been able to access that who needed to. Students are welcome to have the software on their own computers. It might run a little bit faster for them but is not a necessary purchase um, because we now offer it and that's the first year we've had that. Students um, should be logged in at the start of each class and remain working on their AP assignments during studio time. Students um, should return to the whole group after there's individual work time to check in with me and to submit their progress for the day. And there will be a progress check every day for those independent work times. But I will be doing attendance at the beginning and the end of class to verify that students are there and are working. Um, during that independent work time, I will have breakout rooms that they can jump into to ask for individual help with me if they need to. We'll oftentimes have a lot of critiques too. Every single project will have informal and in progress critiques and sometimes some or final critiques at the end of a project. Students will always have the opportunity to rework a project once they've submitted it because our goal is for students to have the best possible artwork they can have for their final submission of their portfolio in early May to the College Board. Um, additional to uh, the breakout rooms in class, students can also reach out to me to have individual sessions um, during my office hours, and that is um, Tuesday through Fridays on regular even and odd days between 7.20 and 8.15, um, and if they just want to schedule that me uh, via email, I can send them an invite. So what does AP Studio Art look like? Well, it is a college-level class. Um, it is supposed to be similar to a student's um, freshman year art experience um, and we are focusing on 2D design skills in this class. So there's two components of the course. There's the sustained investigation um, and the selected works. The sustained investigation has um, 15 images that need to be submitted. Now 15 images does not mean 15 artworks. They have opened up the um, image um, potential um, to be also showing works in progress and process and revisions and experimentation. And so you'll see a couple of examples of that in just a minute. Um, they also want to see the sustained investigation of materials and processes and ideas. And so these images are going to relate to one another as a body of work um, and having an overarching theme and concept and inquiry that drives those works. Um, AP also wants to see a synthesis of materials and ideas um, as well as that strong 2D design skills. Um, there are two other types of portfolios, 3D and drawing. Um, your students will be focusing on 2D. Um, the sustained investigation also has a written component where they have to talk about their investigation, their inquiry, their revisions, their practices, etc. The other component of the AP portfolio is the selected works. That revolves around five images um, that show, and I usually tell the students this is their mastery, um, their five best pieces that show their advanced 2D skills, their evidence of synthesis of materials and their processes and ideas, and they also have to do a little bit of writing. Now these five pieces are probably also going to be five pieces they choose from their sustained investigation. They're basically choosing their best of their best work that might be previous works they've done that have not already been submitted to AP, perhaps summer work or individual work or work from a, a, a lower level, say advanced photography or photo three class, for example. Um, ultimately, I will guide those students in selecting those best works. There'll also be some small written components about their ideas, the materials, and their processes, all limited to 100 characters each. 
Next up, I have some examples of some student portfolios for you to see. But one more thing before we jump to that, I do want to make sure that I reiterate that this is a college level course and it is expected that students spend about an hour outside of class for every hour we spend inside of class. So there is homework. And it is expected that students are prepared every single day with something to work on. So for photography students, that might be that they have to plan ahead with their photo shoots so they can sit and they can edit um, during class. Or if they need to work on a photo shoot during class, they need to still be within earshot of the login um, and the class to be able to be a part of the group. Um, and so it's going to take some planning on students' part to make sure that they are prepared with what they have um, for the assignments and so that they're ready for critiques because if they're not ready for critiques they're not going to be getting the feedback that they're going to need to be able to grow and that's the main goal is for us to get our students to grow throughout the semester um, and to help to show that sustained investigation um, within their work by putting in that time. Next I'd like to cover um, some student example portfolios both as far as digital painting and digital art goes and photography. First is a digital artist, Caroline, who took AP both as a junior and as a senior. This is her senior year portfolio. Her work revolved around the concept of merging sci-fi and fantasy aesthetics and concepts together into her own digital paintings. The work is focusing on creating her own narratives, and you can see that some of the images that she uploaded are also including process shots that show her sketches, her process, her works in progress, her revisions, um, and some of her reference photos that she worked with. You'll also see that example again on work six, where she really collectively documented her entire process, um, her own unique compositions, sometimes referenced from photos, but all derived then together in her own um, voice and her own composition. Um, due to COVID last year, we got cut a little bit short and we're not able to do fully 15 images. AP changed the requirements. That's why you see those blank slides there. But you can see her work culminates with really well done mastered artworks um, that really tell the story that she was looking to tell in a, a high level of craftsmanship and detail. Moving on then you can see her written evidence down here responding to the questions to identify the inquiry that guided her sustained investigation as well as asking how to describe um, how her work shows evidence of practice, experimentation, and revision guided by her questions or inquiry. And so it's really important with the sustained investigation that they are driven by questions and by inquiry with their concepts. You'll see then the next slide here um, includes her selected works. Um, and again, last year due to COVID, things were shortened. Um, we had to turn in three out of five pieces. Um, and you can see the blank slide there. Um, and these works are again, ones that really show her mastery of synthesis of processes and ideas and 2D design skills. The next portfolio I'd like to show is a photography portfolio by my student Narelle, who was a senior. Her work revolved around uh, the idea of a dancer in the wild, and her interpretation of what that meant was not always literally in the wild or in outdoor spaces, but more out of the dancer's um, expected environment or space. And so she really investigated playing around with the dancer in several different poses in different unexpected spaces, such as the library. Um, she kept the dancer's um, attire consistent throughout. And she really played with her perspectives and her sense of scale with positioning the dancer in the environment. And so her questions, again, uh, revolve around that with her identifying her questions and inquiry that guided her sustained investigation, as well as how she showed practice, investigation, experimentation, and revisions. And the three pieces that she chose for her selected works are here. And again, in most cases, the works that are in the selected works come from the student's sustained investigation, but does not have to be that. Sometimes we have students who pull in other pieces, either done for their summer assignment or in previous years that maybe are pieces they feel that very strongly about that fit into that. If you have any questions moving forward, feel free to contact me at carissa.schulten at d303.org. I look forward to working with your child this year.